All right, so we're going to look at how the pros play. And I just want you to watch these points between Wawrinka and John Isner. Now, if you look right here, you think he's going to go for the line, right? But pros know better. They're just going to put it in a spot where the pro, where he hits it, where he's not. But he hit it a little short, and then Wawrinka had the line open. But that line shot didn't really need to happen. And you're going to notice there's a trend here. Look at all the balls they're hitting. They're all well within the lines. Right here, you think the court's wide open down the line, so you're going to hit the line. What does he do? He just hits it nice and deep and just opening the, sp the court up a little bit. So it's not necessarily, I mean, even that shot, all the shots, you can look right here, look at the opening that Wawrinka has down the line. And even though you think he's going to, like, smash this and hit the line, he doesn't have to, and he knows that. So he's just going to stay low with the ball and just drive it, well within the the boundaries and it goes in within a couple feet of both lines well within his range and he didn't have to go for too much so you're going to see that these guys do not look at that shot all the shots they're hitting are well within the court and they're not going for so much right here you may think that as Wawrinka slices a defensive shot and John Isner is going to run around it to hit his forehand, you're going to notice that, okay, he could really rip this ball and go for a winner. And John Isner knows that is not how you play tennis because you don't want so much risk back in the baseline. You're just trying to make a move. And that's exactly what he does. He puts him on the move, makes him hit some shots on the run. If you can make your opponent run and hit, they'll never be able to hit a very quality shot by him. He kind of framed that and got lucky with that. But anyways, you're looking at trying to get the ball in a place where your opponent isn't well within your range. So you look, look at how open this court is. John Isner does not go for too much. Even there, look, well within, like three feet within the lines of each shot. So this is just, um, just noticing a recent match that most players um, do not understand that pros... Even there, that was a, an approach shot, and while Rinka didn't have much to hit with, so he just hit it at his feet and then ran in, and, you know, John Isner hit just too good of a shot. But at the idea, he played his percentages, played the percentages. And you got to remember that when you're playing, you, you everyone tries to go for these shots that they think pros do. Even right here, you think it's like, why? look, he hit it, and it was five feet within both lines, and that was enough to hit it by a pro pretty much. I mean, John Isner couldn't handle it. So think about how you are playing a little bit, and think about more of a winning strategy. Think vanilla, plain and boring, and you're going to see your game improve substantially. All right. For more tips, go to teachyourselftennis.com and sign up for my free blog. Enjoy.